Welcome back to Bavarian RC. In today's video, I'll show you the flying wing called Shaka in flight. The Shaka is a lightweight RC plane that can be built from a laser cut balsa kit, either as a pure slope glider or equipped with a small drone motor to support your hunt for thermals. If you haven't seen my time lapse build video, then check out the link in the description below or in the upper right corner. The Shaka build kit is from Flightpoint from the Ukraine. For more info or for ordering your own Shaka, check out the link to the Flightpoint website in the description below. In the second half of my video, I will share with you my main settings and I will also show you how I installed my Insta360 GO 2 on top of the Shaka. Now let's fly the Shaka. Flying the Shaka was very nice and there were no bad surprises. Even in windy conditions like on the day of this video shoot, the Shaka performed superb. Again a huge shout out to Flightpoint for sending me this kit. It was a pleasure to build and fly. Now let me share some of my settings and of course how I installed my go-to camera. Gene from Flightpoint advised me to go really low on the elevator throws. And he was more than right. The Shaka is really very sensitive to elevator inputs. Finally, I used for the elevator 
4 mm up and down, combined with 50% expo. The aileron function is less sensitive and I used 6 mm up and 4 mm down. I combined it with 30% expo. This setting is great for circling in thermals. For a more aerobatic setup, you could remove the aileron differential and increase the throws. My all-up weight, including an 11 grams GPS logger, is exactly 250 grams. This results in a very low wing loading, which is around 15 to 16 grams per square decimeter. Sometimes I found it hard to see the orientation of the shaka, especially when flying further away or at greater heights. Therefore, I recommend applying a color scheme with a clear difference between upper and lower side. With my power setup, using a 450 mA 2 cell battery, I was able to make 7 to 8 climbs up to about 125 meters. This resulted in flight times around 8 to 12 minutes without any thermals. When flying fully powered, the maximum flight time is around 4 minutes, or if you really give it the beans, around 3 minutes. For the onboard footage, I used my new Insta360 GoTo camera. I wanted to mount it right at the CG to avoid adding balancing weight. To mount the camera, I combined the Insta360 adapter with a 3D printed mount. A quarter inch camera mounting screw makes the connection between the 3D printed part and the Insta360 adapter. To attach the mount to the shaka, I use two 4mm plastic screws. They are slightly longer than the ones supplied in the kit. To avoid vibrations, I wrapped electric tape around the fuselage and the tap on the front of the mount. The link to my free STL files is in the description below. The video footage looks really great, but with the camera on top, the flight performance drops dramatically. I had to fly with minimum 60% power just to maintain altitude. The drag of this mount seems to be quite significant. So this completes my flight review of the Shaka from FlightPoint. Thanks for following me along. I hope you liked my video. If yes, please consider subscribing and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching Bavarian RC.